I want to go over another document. It is called Faith in the Power of the Tongue. So if you combine this with the Road to Salvation, these documents are really going to help you and help you maintain your salvation. And it is going to help you elevate more in God as well. Okay. We are going to talk about faith in the power of the tongue, words. It is hard to have one without the other. No matter if you are a Christian or an atheist, your words have a lot of power. Even if we don't intend for our words to keep us in bondage, they will if we use them wrongly. Let's talk about the wrong way to speak. Negative speech should only consist about 5 to 10 percent of our daily conversations. Instead, most conversations consist of 90 to 95 percent of negative speech. You should only talk about negative things if you are trying to find a solution for the problem. You should never dwell upon problems. You should talk to God about all of your problems. Give him all of your burdens, Psalm 55 and 22. In doing this, your words won't have an adverse effect on you. Okay. A lot of people call negative speaking as venting. So this supposedly gives them a license to speak negatively as much as they like. As stated earlier, you should only speak to God about your problems. You may briefly speak of it to close friends or family. You may speak of it to find a holy solution. Talking about it just to have a general conversation, I advise against it. What are the effects of negative speaking? In general, negative speaking are like curses. As you may know, there are a lot of power. There is a lot of power in our words. This is how God made us. We can either condemn or free ourselves by our words. Matthew 12 and 37. Speaking negatively can cause sickness among us, as well as mental illnesses. Depression and stress will result from talking negatively. Stress can translate into many major illnesses. How is this possible? It is our faith our belief. The more we believe in something, whether it is negative or positive, it becomes our reality. So if we are constantly saying, my life is bad, I hate everyone, my life is miserable, I wish I was dead, everyone is annoying, etc. This will affect your body enormously. If you are a semi-positive to positive person, don't associate with negative people. You will either influence them with your positivism or they will influence you with their abundance of negativity. Usually their negativity wins. A lot of the time, negative people will guilt trip you into listening to their problems, manipulating you into doing their will. Don't fall for it. Explain to them in a polite manner that you don't want to be a negative person, that you don't want to be influenced in any way. Negativity is a disease within itself. It doesn't help in any way. The more you speak negative, the worse you will feel. Then your body will start to be affected. You can't win. If you think about it, Satan wants you to talk negative. The more you speak that way, the more leverage he will have in your life. He wins once you commit suicide. I talked to many depressed people. They all talk the same basically. Killing themselves always come to mind. First step in feeling better, stop talking negative. Stop talking negative. If you think about it, there is a demon of negativity. So when you see someone who is always speaking negatively, more than likely they have this particular type of evil spirit or spirits influencing or possessing them. So if you entertain these types of people, 
continue to associate with them, the evil spirit or spirits they have in them will transfer into you. That is why it is best to only be around with holy people. Why? You want that same Holy Spirit that they have. If you already have the Holy Spirit, by hanging around others with it, there is a large possibility that you will bond closer to God. How? It is because of the influence. We all must remember we are in a spiritual war. As in war, you have to always have your shield raised. Once God returns and judges the wicked, then the war will be over. Until then, have your defenses raised. What are the effects of speaking positively? The more positive you speak, the better you will feel. I know it may sound strange. Even if you don't believe in your positive words in the beginning, soon enough your body will react to your words. This is the truth. I challenge anyone who stays depressed or anyone else to talk positive for a whole month. If you've done it correctly, you will see and feel changes before the month. Depending on your lifestyle, demonic thoughts won't bother you too often. Why? You are creating your own reality. It is not contradicting the Bible, so it is legal pertaining to God. Matthew 12 and 37. You can either help Satan attack yourself by using negative words or you can receive blessings by saturating the atmosphere with your positive words. How can you expect blessings to come when you are spewing out curses, negative speech every day? I believe a person who speaks negative all the time, living holy slash saved, will be a huge challenge. A lot of the time, these types of people aren't holy slash saved. Negative speech will transition you into sin. Nothing bad can bring you into blessings. Receiving blessings without hindrance is another incentive to talk positive. Studies have been done on terminally ill patients, as well as people who were really ill. A lot of them have recovered by a change of lifestyle, positive thoughts, speech, motivation, and determination. In a strong will. This makes me think most of our illnesses come from our lifestyle slash attitude. It's true. Something as silly as worrying can kill you. Isn't that weird? Yes, it is. So continue to speak positive whether you are happy or sad, no matter the mood or situation. Even if you get into a car accident, keep happy thoughts, smile from the inside, and speak positively to yourself. If you can train yourself to speak negative all the time, you can do the opposite as well. To conclude, you should talk positive no matter what happens to you. When you are holy slash saved, you have access to the power of God. Change your reality with your words. God creates everything with words. As long as you don't declare anything that breaks God's rules, you can declare anything in your life or upon anything and anyone. It is just that simple. Yes, bad things may happen to us in life, so whatever happens to us is a fact. It is not the truth, though. The truth is that we have power over sickness, pain, and anything bad. We have power over Satan and his demons. We have to keep the truth in our mind, other than facts which are temporary. You understand? The truth is permanent. Facts about your situation is temporary. Once you, once you exercise your power in God, 
So I really hope you understand this. God bless.